Welcome to Wax Sports Reviews. In this video, we're looking at Shrey's top of the line stainless steel helmet, the Masterclass Air stainless steel version, which is a reject that they've done from the 2018 year. So let me start talking to you about the features of this helmet. In terms of the shell here, talking about the protection, like I've discussed earlier with other Shrey videos, the shell design is a little bit archaic given that it's based off of Missouri's original series from the pre-2012 era. This is shaped slightly differently to the performance and the armor helmets, so it accommodates a few more head shapes. But again, it's not the best out there because the padding inside and the shell is pretty firm so that it does not accommodate a different size of head. Moving on in terms of the finish, there's a cloth finish all over this helmet. It's a little bit better than what you see on the performance in the armor. But then again, there's still a lot of those issues with the finish where there's a material hanging out too much. And when you're playing close to $200 for a helmet, you definitely want something that has a reasonable finish to it. Moving on to the grill. In terms of protection, this is stainless steel, which is really good for protection. With the best being titanium, this is still pretty good. It is a little bit heavier than the T line, but that doesn't make too much of a difference when you're batting for a longer innings. Moving on, the grill is quite big. So you get a reasonable area of protection, but being that big, it is also a little bit bulky, which means you might have to adjust your stance so that the helmet doesn't dig into your shoulder. This also comes down quite low around the chin area, offering you really good protection there, but probably comes down a little too low so that it digs into your chest when you're kind of looking down. There's a few finish issues here as well with the soldering work not being the most flush. And like I've discussed earlier, when you're paying close to $200 for a helmet, you want all of this to be reasonably well constructed. Another issue where a lot of people have faced with these helmets is the padding. While it's nice and thick and pretty good, it comes out quite often, but there's an easy fix. You can just put some strapping tape over it, just like the other international cricketers do, just to hold it in place. All in all, a decent stainless steel helmet. I would still prefer the Missouri over it, but that doesn't discount the fact that this is still a pretty good helmet. So if you're looking to get this helmet, you can walk into one of our stores or get it online.